Hey, what's going on guys? It's Reefer Dan here. I'm here to show you how to give this bad boy a rim job is what I like to call it. Take a natural born bio cube. We're gonna make it rimless today. First, you're gonna need a little pipe saw. I got this from Lowe's, about two bucks. You're gonna want a level or some sort of flat surface. Fishing string. I'm using 30 pound Omniflex, $2 stuff from Walmart, something to cut the fishing string. So we'll want to begin, of course, taking off the top. As you can see, I've gutted the top of mine already. Um, not going to use it. I'm waiting for my lights to come in tomorrow. My bio keeps currently cycling. So you're going to want to take your pipe saw here. Alright. I also need a Sharpie, by the way. You see this line right here? You're going to want to get this right up against that line. Get your Sharpie. Make a nice straight line. That's when your pipe saw is coming into place. Just really nicely get in there. Cut that. I've already done mine. So you're just gonna cut that really nicely over here. You'll feel it pop through as soon as you're done. Um, go from this side and slowly work your way into the top of the tank there. You'll also feel a pop once you get through the top. And then stay in that groove and slowly work your way to the inside until you feel the pop on the inside as well. You'll be able to wiggle this around and see that it's free from this back piece here. All right? So once you get both sides cut, you're going to want to take some fishing string. Probably about a foot of it. A couple feet, maybe two or three feet. All right, I recommend using gloves. I didn't have gloves. My fingers are a little cut up over here, so. So you're going to want to get this right in the crack over here. Work your way in. Again, I've already done mine, so it's going to go a lot easier. And you're going to have to work this just like this all the way down around the tank, getting all the silicone off. All right. So now once you get that worked, you'll be able to pop this right off. And here you have it, the rim job of a bio cube. There's still a little bit of silicone on here. Uh, that'll come off. I just didn't have a razor blade handy at the moment. One suggestion I do have is if you have a second person working with you, as you're working this fishing line, have them pulling up. So as you're working down here, have them keep pressure on here. It's gonna help that fishing line moving through that seam of silicone, popping the top off. And that, my friends, is how you do a rim job on a bio cube.